The dollar has hit uh, its lowest level in one month, with stock markets rising significantly ahead of the U.S. inflation report that will be out today. Inflation is still very high, but it is expected to have moderated in August. As gasoline prices dropped, supply chains has improved and the cost of travel fell. Headline inflation is expected to fall, while core inflation, which excludes energy and food, is expected to rise. The report is key as it is seen as being a major factor in the Federal Reserve's decision on how much they will raise interest rates next week, and not only next week, but for the rest of the year and also next year. For more on this now, let's go to David Madden, who is a market analyst at Equity Capital. David, many thanks for being with us today. Well, first of all, what do you expect uh, from the inflation report uh, in the US? And what can you tell us about the divergence of uh, headline inflation versus core inflation? Well, looking at the headline inflation first, economists are, are expecting it to drop to 8.1% from the previous reading of 8.5%. And before that, the, re the reading was above 9%, which, by the way, was a 40-year high. So we're beginning to see early signs of pr prices cooling. Also, uh, about a month ago, we had the most recent PPI producer price index report. And that is in a similar fashion to consumer price index, but it measures costs at the factory level, at manufacturers and, and industrial, uh, industrial sites. And they also showed a decline in prices. Now, PPI can often be a leading indicator for CPI because if, if the prices at the factory level are coming down, that can equate to lower prices for consumers. Not always, but that can be the case. So the general perception in the markets is that headline CPI is going to fall. But you mentioned in your intro, the US dollar has dropped to a multi-week low. That needs to be put in the context of the fact that less than a week ago, the US dollar was at a 20-year high. So a bit of a pullback in the markets in advance of the CPI numbers is not a surprise. Uh, it's also worth pointing out, though, that the, the core figure is going to tell us what actual demand is like. Uh, our American consumers will go out and spend money because this is the sort of thing which will actually drive their economy along and keep the, the US, US economy afloat. Whereas many of the aspects of high levels of inflation, food prices, energy prices, are beyond the control of central bankers. So their, so their rate hike isn't, isn't really going to impact gasoline prices or, 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 or wheat prices. Um, so the headline figure will probably give us a good indication of what the Fed are going to do um, down the line. It looks as if a 75 basis point rate hike is going to be a done deal or that, that's how the markets are, are acting so far in relation to next month's meeting. But down the line, if we are seeing signs of underlying demand taper off in vis-a-vis the, -vis the core CPI report, that's, that could be a sign the Fed might look to taper back, or scale back rather, the size of future rate hikes, you know, October, November, December onwards. Mm -hmm. David, interesting, quickly on core inflation, how is it comforting that headline inflation is falling while core inflation is rising? I mean, are you really confident that food prices and uh, uh, fuel uh, prices as well will continue falling for the rest of the year and the next year? Well, what it tells us is that actual online demand continues to be strong. After all, the, the unemployment rate in the United States, well, it ticked up to 3.7%, but before that, it was 3.58, a two-year two low. And many aspects of the U.S. economy are quite strong. But, but depending on what happens, which way core, the core reading comes in, that's going to determine the kind of more medium to longer-term direction of the, of the Federal Reserve. You know, as, as I mentioned a moment ago, it depends. Are U.S. consumers, are they willing to go out and actually spend money? And we've had four interest rate hikes from the Federal Reserve in the last six months. Rate hikes usually take some time to actually trickle down to the economy. That's going to lead to higher costs in, in terms of uh, it, loan repayments, mortgage repayments and whatnot. That's at some point will squeeze American consumers and which will impact core demand. Uh, and so that's why today's core CPI reading is, probably, is, is going to be in focus too. David Madden, many thanks for this update.